Stay tuned and let's take a look at this Spider-Man retro series, Green Goblin. Hello and welcome back to the channel, Dan Who Reviews. As always, my name is Dan W. Make sure you are following me on Instagram at It's Dan Who. Today we continue to look at this Spider-Man vintage retro series with the Green Goblin. Now this is a reissue of a figure that we got not too long ago, but we do get a Norman Osborn head. Now I've been waiting for Hasbro to pack a Norman Osborn head in with a figure for a while and they have finally done it. So this Green Goblin has an updated color scheme, a lot brighter and also a new head sculpt as well. Wow, well, I don't think if it's a new head sculpt, but it definitely has different paint schemes. Uh, we get the same glider, but it has some modifications so you could use a new flight stand. We're getting a goblin bomb as well, which I always appreciate the accessories, but it's on this vintage retro packaging that I love so much. Reminds me of the uh, where how I fell in love with Marvel way back in the early 90s watching the Spider-Man animated series. So yeah, looking good. Definitely buy two of these, one to keep and one to open. On the back of the card, you're getting a list of all the other figures in this wave. Again, no build a figure piece. You're getting that little gimmick box like the Toy Biz packaging back in the day. And you get a little write up that reads, one of the few who knows that Spider-Man is really Peter Parker, the Green Goblin is perhaps the web slinger's greatest foe. And as we've already shown, we know what happened to Gwen Stacy and it's all this guy's fault. So without further ado, Let's get them open. So here we have the Green Goblin out the box and this is essentially just a straight up repaint. So I've technically already reviewed this figure, but we do have an updated color scheme and an updated head sculpt. So we're focused on that. So I think this body type was fine for the Green Goblin. We've got it for the Hobgoblin and the Demon Goblin. I think we got it for Black Knight as well. And it does its job. We get the same glider that we got previously, but it does have a new modification so you can use the Demo Goblin flight stand. So I'll show you that as well. As I said, I was mainly excited about this little uh, Norman Osborn head because we're yet to get a Hasbro rendition of Norman Osborn for our shelf. So we can pop that on a suited body. We'll see if that works. And then we're getting a little goblin bomb as well. So this video will mainly be a straight up comparison as I'll pull the previous Green Goblin out and see what the differences are. But I will say first and foremost, the color scheme is quite accurate to the animated series. It's just the head sculpt. I think a lot of people are complaining that the eyes didn't look like that in the animated show. But remember these figures are just inspired by that retro toy biz card in they're not really meant to be exact uh, figure representations of the characters from the animated show so they've took a few liberties uh, but I do like the updated head sculpt they're using for the Green Goblin compared to the previous one so let me get that other one out uh, we'll see what the straight up comparison is and then we'll check out some of these pieces um, so let's do that. So here we have our straight up Goblin comparison. This is the Green Goblin that came in the Sandman Builder figure wave. And as you can see, it's essentially the exact same figure with the deco changes. So this one's got the green with the sort of metallic sort of flair to it, like a metallic sort of dry brushing or something. I actually quite like this one, but I do think the head sculpt on this one's more accurate. The color schemes on this new one are more accurate to the animated series. But as I said, they're inspired by, they're not meant to be perfect. Uh, it's mainly the head sculpts that are the differences. So I will zoom in and show you that but as you can see from the boots all the way up to the belt they've both got the same man bag this one's got an added neckerchief sort of piece uh, where this one doesn't but other than that gloves everything are the exact same so let's zoom in so this is where you see the biggest differences the dirty gritty head on this sandman builder figure one is quite nice but uh, i do prefer this new retro series one that's definitely more my mind's eye version of the green goblin the sandman one had these like tassels going down the face uh, and then the the sort of pointy bit was sort of down and curved where on the new retro one it's sort of up and curved and the ears are a lot more predominant as well but even the eyes the mouth it's completely new sculpt uh, both got that evil little grin though but I do actually prefer the sculpt on this retro series one the complaints are coming uh, in the form of the eyes people are saying the eyes uh, are too crazy. They're not the eyes for the Green Goblin. Now in the animated show, the Green Goblin, to be fair to him, did just have sort of black pimples on yellow eyes. So I can see if people customizing this, painting yellow and then maybe putting their own black dots in there. Uh, as I said, in the comics though, he had lots of different looks. So I'm sure there's a panel somewhere where he's got these crazy eyes, but I think people's mind's eye version of the Goblin are the simpler, black dots in the eyes. So you can make that customization and then you might have yourself the perfect goblin if you prefer the bright 
vibrant colours. But yeah, overall, um, decent goblins, uh, no wrong answer. Which one do you prefer? Moving on to accessories, he comes with a goblin bomb, which you have seen before. This one's nicely painted, to be fair. You can actually see the goblin face um, on the on the pumpkin bomb. Sorry, I keep calling it goblin bomb, but it's a pumpkin bomb. You can see the green little evil face there. And uh, yeah, I like that a lot, to be fair. And then while we're zoomed in, just real quick with this head sculpt, I said the only difference is this sort of added neckerchief piece. Don't know why, but if we pop that head off while we're here, you can see that. It's a separate piece. If you don't like it, you can take it off, but it's not a problem. It's sort of to hide uh, the gap. There you go. So I think that's what it's meant to represent. Uh, Norman has the goblin mask down, so you get this little neckerchief. And I like this Norman Osborn head. I He has the most unique hair in Marvel Comics. Don't know why a white guy has this style hair, but it works. He rocks it. Both him and his son rock it. Um, this is a nice looking Norman Osborn head. It is undoubtedly Norman Osborn. And uh, yeah, it's about time we got one. So will that fit on a suited body? The answer is yes. This Norman Osborn head just pops onto this Colson suited body. I've just got a sloppily painted black tie. But this is a Colson body and the Norman Osborn head pops on there. Not a problem at all. And uh, yeah, it's about time we had this guy for our Marvel shelves. And this last accessory is his glider, of course. Now, this is exactly the same glider that we got previously, just with a little paint modification. Don't know how well you can tell the difference there on camera, but this one's a little bit more gunmetal metallic-y. The difference is on the other end, you can see that this new one has that round peg where the previous one didn't. Now, this round peg is to fit in the new stand, the new flight stand that we got recently with the Demon Goblin, and it will pop into there. It's a bit of a tight squeeze though, to be fair. So there's the Goblin on his glider as he should be displayed. So you wanna get yourself one of these extra stands. It doesn't fit perfectly, but it does fit well enough where it will stay there. But I'm sure you have other flight stands in your collection you could use for this, but you definitely need the Goblin up on a glider in your display uh, to make it pop. And with these bright colors, He's definitely going to stand out now. Here we have the Goblin compared to Peter Parker and the poor Gwen Stacy. I'm sure you know by now what happened to Gwen Stacy in the comics at the hands of the Green Goblin. Sad times. Uh, let's break, take Peter Parker out and bring in the new retro Spider-Man as well. And I do think these figures are looking great. No complaints from me. Here we have the Goblin compared to some other Marvel villains with Venom and the Sandman Builder figure, of course. And then, as I said, if you do have a spare suited body, you can always... Get yourself a Norman Osborn in the display so we can start building his Dark Avengers. So there you have it. Final thoughts. This is a nice green goblin. It's a great opportunity for you to get yourself this iconic classic Spider-Man villain if you missed out on the previous release. This is the more vibrant one as well that's going to stand out in your collection that little bit more. Matches the tones from the animated show. I just think the controversy is going to be in the face sculpt. Mainly the eyes and how they've been painted. Some people are going to like it and not mind but other people are going to want them to be the yellowed out with the black pimple again that's an easy mod if you want to do that but overall it's a nice figure and i like how they gave us the modification with the flight stand so we can use that previous demo goblin one problem is now i need to get myself another demo goblin flight stand but uh yeah as always you let me know what you think in the comments below is this your mind's eye version of the goblin do you like this new color scheme or do you prefer the previous release always curious to hear your thoughts let me know in the comments below but as always if you want to support the channel and help this channel grow, watch some videos. But most importantly, please, please, please hit that subscribe button. Much, much appreciated. And if you are in a position to support the channel that little bit more, Patreon is available. Links in the description below. But until next time, people, my name is Dan W. And I will, of course, see you on the next one.